Is the AI wave dying down for NVIDIA? This has been topic of discussion from a lot of people who are either heavier investors into NVIDIA or type of people who are just pretty much looking at the sideline and trying to see about whether NVIDIA is actually really a bubble or not, or in a bubble or not, because a lot of people obviously feel that, you know, they obviously felt really happy and encouraged by the fact that NVIDIA could have made such a large mark on the industry from AI, which propelled it to take over Apple and Microsoft for some time being as the world's most valuable company before Microsoft had taken that position. And now it's kind of been like, you know, back and forth between all those companies through an ongoing discussion as to which company can offer the most value or not. And I really do believe that the reason why NVIDIA was able to even overtake Apple because was because of AI. And it really does owe AI a lot because NVIDIA had invested so much into that in addition to being able to really bring about and you know bring about fabrication infrastructure for making different types of chips and semiconductor equipment that can be used for change for training uh, large language models and other types of AI models, but I think that probably at this point maybe there is at least some credence or some belief to the fact that there could be at least some slowing down of the AI wave because probably from my impression I think that hiring in this era probably is getting a little more slow because as the whole economy slows and just things are becoming worse economically even if inflation goes down the long-term effects of the interest rates held by the federal reserve still have to be realized but on top of this it really has to relate to whether there can still be a demand that nvidia can see for ai which would propel it to continue hiring in these types of departments and I think that it's still going to obviously maintain dominance in the semiconductor space and fabrication of chips for making supercomputers and other types of CPUs like Elon Musk has been using for XAI or even other types of companies that he's running and that he's an executive at. But really, the, a the case for AI, it seems to be becoming more narrow by the day. And I probably would agree, at least with some people, that there could be some less, you know, some lack of enthusiasm or less enthusiasm, at least for AI. But I, nevertheless, I still don't really think that this is going to significantly impact NVIDIA's uh, near term evaluation or maybe their evaluation in several months from now, because AI was just one part of their whole shtick in, in their whole uh, their whole, you know, their whole operations as a company and that they could easily try to foresee or anticipate which type of area of targeted investment could become more valuable in AI in the future that they could really lean into.